Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please do what feels right for you. Skip anything or change anything that isn't feeling right. Let's start on our backs. You can come into a Shavasana type position. Either close your eyes or take a soft gaze. And begin to slow down your breath. You can keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you. Let's stretch the arms overhead, reaching out long. Interlace your fingers. Press out through your palms, flex your feet. And then release and bring your right knee in. Give it a good squeeze, little jiggle. And then straighten right leg up, flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times both directions. Bend your knee back in, open your knee out to the right, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the left leg. Release, bend your knee, and bring it across. Open out through your right arm. And then try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. Roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in, take a little circle or rock. And then grab hold of just the left knee. Drop the right leg long. Squeeze the left knee in close as you can. Straighten the left leg up. Flex and point. Circle a few times both directions. Bend your knee in, open your knee out to the left, and straighten whatever amount, exploring your edges, your limits. Release, bend your knee, bring it across, spinal twist. First with a bent knee. And then try straightening left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal. And release, roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in, little circle or rock. Make your way up. Let's come all the way forward into a high push-up. Lower down. And then come into your back bend as low or high as feels right for you. Cobra or up dog. And back to down dog. Open up the backs of the legs and pedal out your feet. And let's bring the right knee forward, pigeon pose, right side. Adjust the angle of the front leg, set up any support that's useful. 
Bring the upper body back up. Move anything that's in your way out of your way so you can slide the left knee forward. Shift onto the left hip and send the right leg back. Pigeon on the other side, find your way there. Adjust anything you need. Feel free to experiment, explore. Mm. Upper body back up, take your time, lean to the left. This time bring the right knee on top of the left knee. Gomukhasana, cow face pose. Scoot your ankles out to the side to get the knees a little closer one on top of the other. You can make this less tight by sitting on something or straightening your bottom leg. We'll bring the left elbow cross to the outside of the right knee and the right hand into a fist pressing down, helping to ground the legs and also giving you a little leverage for a twist. Let's see if you can lengthen as you rotate. the legs as they are, release the upper body around to the front. We'll take eagle arms, right elbow on top. Put some pressure between the elbows like you're trying to pull them apart, spreading the upper back, spreading the rib cage. And release, interlace behind your back now. Open up the heart. Roll the shoulders open. You can stay upright or fold. Folding might be just leaning forward slightly or all the way over your legs. Maybe reaching arms up and back away from you. Release. Lean back. Unwind and switch. Left leg on top. Knee on top of knee. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee, left hand into a fist, pressing down, rolling open. Keep the legs grounded, release upper body around to the front, left elbow on top, put some pressure between the elbows. Wide, long, spacious torso. Release, interlace behind the back, other thumb on top this time. Open up the heart and stay upright or fold any amount. Release, lean back, unwind. Take a little windshield wiper side to side. Let the knees flop one way and the other. We'll come back onto our backs and bring your knees in. A little circle or rock and then drop your feet to the floor getting set up for bridge. Press your feet down, lift your hips high. Once your hips are high enough, 
Interlace your fingers behind your back. Shrug your shoulders underneath you. Spreading upper back and lower back away from one another. Take your arms out of your way. Roll down and rest. Happy baby. Grab the soles of the feet. Press your knees towards the floor. This can be done in stillness or with a little rocking. You can keep your legs bent or try straightening one at a time or together, part way or all the way. And check in with your body. Is anything else needed? for you to feel complete in this practice. If you have more time to keep practicing, please do. If you're ready to wind things down with me, take whatever final pose or stretch or movement feels right for you. And there's no right or wrong thing for you to be doing. We're all learning how to take care of our bodies and this is part of that, whatever you're doing right now. <sighs> When you're done, you can take a few moments in some neutral shape. Get as comfortable as you can. <sighs> Maybe a couple of extra deep exhales or even a sigh. Hmm. And then let your body release back into the support behind you. Letting go of all the doing, all the effort. Mm. Even just a couple of moments in stillness. Letting what you've just done soak in. And then start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your wrists and ankles. Take a big yawning stretch out. Mm, bring your knees in. Roll to one side. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. Bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks for taking time for your practice today. Little yoga is so much better than no yoga. Well done. <laughs>